This is Rebel Radio, AM 1500, FM 92.5, streaming at rebelradio.com. I'm Scott Davidson, live on the phone line, Chloe Trujillo, uh, husband, a wife of Robert, of course, from Metallica and Ozzy and uh, Infectious Groove, Suicide Tendencies, and how many more? There's a bunch more, right? Well, yeah, he, he played, I think, well, he played with Jerry Cantrell. Um... Yes, yep. What else? Amazing bass player. And a, and a super cool guy. I met him a bunch of times. Super cool every time I see him. Uh, man, it's a, he's an awesome guy, right? Yeah. Well, you know, married 20 years now, so... That's a long time. Congrats. Yeah. And you got a musical family. You could be like the Partridge family or something as well, too, because, of course, he's playing bass. You sing, and you just sang uh -huh. two shows this last weekend, right? Yes. yes. Hard Rock Cafe and where? Uh, uh, was it UK? Well... No, no, but uh, everything in Paris. Oh, Paris, uh, um, cool. Yeah, everything in Paris, yes, uh, in France. That's uh, actually my hometown. And we also, I mean, I had a super busy week with a couple shows, but also the opening of the metal exhibition there uh, at the Music Museum. And um, there I, I, I took part in a couple roundtables, some podcasts, TV shows, so a lot of stuff happened for me last week it was a busy busy week cool and you're back you're back home now huh i'm back home i think it's, i slept 12 hours straight as soon as i landed i was like i'm exhausted like, so sweet <laughs> that's tiring yeah yeah <laughs> and, but it was great and you got lula there who's just there a second ago she played drums with you too right she does she that's awesome. awesome she kicks ass yeah like really yes now who taught her drums was did you or robert or who so, well, no, she, you know, both our kids are, are excellent musician and mostly uh, self-taught. Wow. Uh, Lula took a few lessons with uh, a drummer named Thomas Lang, who's amazing. Um, but yeah, mostly self-taught. Very cool. And of course, Ty plays bass in Suicidal Tendencies. He's playing corn. Yeah. That's awesome. I saw a picture with yeah. Robert, Ty, and Mike Muir in the same picture. That was really cool to see. Yeah, they were in Australia last oh, man. week. All played together. That was that's awesome. Were you there? No, I was in Paris. So the girls were in Paris playing, and the boys were in Australia playing. That's so cool. <laughs> busy, it was fun. busy family. That's awesome. And Ty, yeah. what a what a great place player Ty is too. I've seen a bunch of videos of him. Man, he's great already. Yeah, he's awesome. They, I mean, they pick know. up they pick up fast, don't they? They pick up the yeah, and, and and I mean they work hard. You know, they practice. I mean Ty. He, he played with corn when he was 12 years old. I know, it's amazing. A little guy and just, I mean, he, he, they, they work hard. You know, there's, there, you know, when people say there's talent, there's talent there, but they, you know, without the hard, hard work. work behind it, yeah, they now, do work hard. Now, Chloe, you sing for the band as well. The band is a, not a new name, right? Boulevard of Eyes. Yes. And you're the singer. And your daughter, Lula, right? He's the drummer. He's the yes. drummer. That's cool. Who, who else is in that band? Uh, Kevin is the guitar player and Mark is the bass player. So with Mark, whose uh, stage name is Rav Medic, we we started. Uh, it was supposed to be just a single, um, a collab on one single, and and then it ended up turning into an EP, and then the second EP, and then we turned into a band, Boulevard of Eyes. So it was an exciting journey. Cool. How would you describe the sound to someone who's not heard you yet? I mean, it's definitely heavy. There's some songs that are really, really heavy. Some cool. songs we have, I think we have influences of, of a bunch of different uh, metal uh, bands or, you know, metal music. Uh, so, but I would describe it as heavy. Very cool. To Rebel Radio, Scott Davidson talking to Chloe. You're coming to town on May 4th. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, at, I'm gonna be at the Metro that night, so I'm gonna be close by. I'm, I'm gonna stop by. It sounds really cool. It's uh, Please. you're gonna be at the uh, Sideshow Gallery in Chicago, twenty two nineteen Northwestern in Chicago, and you're gonna be there all day long, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Please come by. I'm gonna be at the gallery. Uh, there's, you know, like showing some artwork. I'll also do, I'm doing a pop-up shop there. So I'll have some of my, my products. Like I, I did, um, 
cards, oracle cards, inspiration cards. I'll have art prints. I'll have some scars that I design. I'll have notebooks. I'll have a bunch of little goodies. And um, of course, uh, the art. So I'll be there, I don't know, all day pretty much. I don't know if it's uh, starting at noon or 1 p.m. all the way till 10 p.m. Uh, I'll be available there to, to talk with people, to sign stuff and, and yeah. I'm excited. I love Chicago. I miss it. So cool. it's going to be good times. So uh, off the air, we were saying uh, we had a good idea. You should have your band play, if not the art um, thing, somewhere else like later after after the, the thing's over. Probably too late for this time, though, right, to put it together? I mean, I'd, I'd love to. I have to talk to the guys. Uh, uh, Lula's going to be with me, actually. She's coming to oh, Chicago, that, too. There, that's half the band uh, right there. So that's half the band. So if I can convince the the two guys to to come along, uh, that would be awesome. To, we we uh, can find. Just have to find a, a venue, yeah. Oh, we can find a venue. That's what I, that's what I do for, for the last thirty something years. All right. Then. Radio <laughs> bookings. Perfect. She needs a drum set. I got uh, I got two drum sets. My girlfriend Leanne's got three drum sets. We'll get her a drum set. Oh, she needs amazing. a drum set. Uh, you need an amp or something. We'll get that. We'll get whatever you need. We got it for her. No problem. I'd love to. I mean, that sounds really cool. So probably not at the, at the gallery, but maybe afterwards we like have like a after yeah. like an after show party. Yeah. I mean, the, rece yeah. the reception is seven. To, the reception is seven to ten, right? Yeah. So even the next day. I mean, we're here uh, uh, the Sunday after, and then the uh, Monday. So wow. So we'll be here a few days. So it can even be Monday night. Damn. You know that would you know? Well, bitch, where he's playing Monday night at the Metro. We'll put you on that show. Oh. <laughs> what? I haven't we'll, seen them since the 90s. We'll, we'll set you up. We'll get you on the guest list. Sure, yes. Because <laughs> Lula loves obituary, too. I'm actually writing it right now in my calendar. So that's... That's, that's a that's metro? A, now, check this out. Some, the next night, Kerry what? King is playing Reggie's. Oh, God. That's when I fly, uh, fly back. So, what? Maybe, I love Kerry King, too. That's it's a, It just got announced yesterday. Kerry King, Reggie's... Um, it's going to be May 7th. May 6th is at the Metro obituary. And, um, yeah. cool. So we're going to make Oh my God. I haven't seen obituary since Cause of Death. Wow. Albums. Awesome. That's like a long time. <laughs> but I love them. And your daughter Lulu loves them too. That's cool. We should, yeah. no problem. We can set you up. No problem at all. Boom. VIP. We'll let, we'll take care of you. So yeah. Saturday, May 4th, make plans now. Now you're saying it's the art show. Do you do art, art too, of course, right? Yes. Yes. Are, are any of these in the, I, I see your background here. We got you on Zoom, which is thanks for call, coming on Zoom. Are these your pictures? Yes, right? I like the yeah, one behind you, the are, eye. There's an eyeball. Yeah, these, these are some of my artwork. I have so many, like, in, facing me right now. You can't see. We can see it on Facebook Live. Like, on the radio, they yeah. can't see it. But if, if you're on the radio, go to Scott Davidson in Chicago, and you can see it on Facebook Live. Can you just explain that picture behind us to your, to your right? Turn around, and the one with the eyeball. What's that one called? Do you have names for them? Uh, this is this one is is called cosmic power this one i i painted actually about 10 years ago now um so every one of my paintings i do like some kind it's like a spiritual experience wow you know, i do some kind of channeling and i don't know what i'm gonna paint until i'm actually in the act of painting i have visions that come that's through. cool so a lot of a um, lot of improvise yeah. a lot of improvising then yeah yeah is it's that... really like even the colors i don't i don't plan ahead it's just yeah is that the same when you sing? Do you improvise a little bit, or are you always sing the you sing the same thing? That different? You know, uh, uh, it's funny. So I work, I, I write my songs at the same time. I paint. Usually, when I'm painting, I have melodies and words that come to me, and so I will always write them down or record them real quick, and and then I take time to get back to what I recorded or wrote down, and then I work on my music. And uh, so, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Awesome. Any chance? Any chance for uh, being a band with Robert? You two put the, put a song out. That would be great. You know, we almost did during COVID. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, and and then things started reopening, and we both got so busy. We didn't. We never completed the project. Uh, I was actually playing guitar and singing. And believe it or not, he was playing some keyboards cool. and bass, of course. And, and, and so, but we never got to finish it. I think you should do a song. Then, you should definitely do a song with Ty on bass, Robert on keyboards, you on vocals and guitar, and Lulu on drum. Then, then, then you're definitely Departures Family or Brady Bunch, whatever, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> now, I grew up watching those shows when I was a little kid. You ever see the, you know, you know those shows? <laughs> yeah. Trouble Radio, yeah. Scott Davidson talking to Chloe. She is going to be in town May 4th. Make sure you make your plans now. How can people get tickets? Is it a free show? Is there tickets? It's a free show. Oh, free. Okay, please. Everybody's wow. welcome. Yeah. That's even yeah. better. Let's let's uh let's have everybody come over and and, visit. and the weather go... the weather gets a little yeah. better by then. You're probably used to nice weather out there in LA. But yes, today it's yes. not bad today, but by then by May 4th it'd be a lot better. Yeah, I'm sure. So that's I'm nice, sure. right? That's good for you. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So May 4th, it's going to be at Sideshow Gallery 2219 Northwestern Avenue in Chicago, Illinois. And uh, now you're going to be there from what, noon to like 10? Is that great? That long? Yeah, I think there's a short break where I'm probably going to leave to like have dinner or something between like 5 and 7. Cool. Or something like that. I don't know. They wrote down the schedule for me, the gallery. But uh, but I'll be I'll be there most of the time. Uh, it's yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And then when you come back, there's gonna be like a reception afterwards, right? So come check out the yes. art during the day, and there'll be a reception afterwards. How how do you uh, yes. how do you describe the reception to our listeners? Well, um, I'm not exactly sure. It's organized by the gallery, but I know there's be some cocktails, some drinks, uh, maybe some appetizers, and I'll be there. And it's going to be a showing of uh, uh, some of my artwork. And uh, yeah, I'll be there to also sign. I'll have art books um, and prints, and I'm uh, I'll be happy to sign whatever you know you want and. Uh, answer any questions and uh have fun cool now i'm gonna show a picture i put on facebook earlier and uh instagram and stuff and everyone's commenting about how cool your hair is here's a picture of chloe uh, it's, like, it's the slot it's like it's, it's a little like but this we're showing this picture. You see the picture? In, you will see the picture in there. So it's the no, picture of you. It's the picture for the uh, slideshow gallery. It says, uh, oh, presents. Yeah, with my hair out like yeah, this. Yeah, that's killer. The magic you create is eternal. Now, uh, yeah, that's, solo that's show. The the, yeah. Solo show by you. That's, that's cool. So pop up shop, one to five. The opening reception, seven to ten. That's it. Awesome. So I'll be there both times from one to five and then seven to ten. And they're both free. Um, and they're both free. Please come cool. up, come I, on, come on by. I hope this place Bring can hold your friends. I hope it can hold a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, you know. You, you have you been there before? I've never been in that gallery before. So do you do uh, gallery exhibits in uh, LA by your by your home? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah. I've done a few. I'm actually part of a exhibition right now. Uh, uh, with my surfboards because I paint on surfboards. So, um, I'm doing it in, uh, the street, street artist Risk, um, has his own gallery and I'm part of this show called Beyond the Wave and it's all surfboard, surfboard art. Oh, cool. I've got about five surfboards hanging here at the Rebel Radio Studios, like Fear, really? Fear Factory, Biohazard, a band from Chicago called From Zero. Uh, there's two more. I, I, I can't remember. But yeah, I got five, oh, cool. five, they're on my hanging on my walls. Cool. They're cool. I, but I can't, show, cool. I can't show you right now though, because they're uh, upstairs. But, uh, yeah. so that's awesome. It's Rebel Radio. We're talking to Chloe, her husband, oh man, Robert, what a great guy. I remember hanging out with him once at the Liars Club in Chicago. Got a picture with oh, him. yeah. Super cool. Always cool. Uh, I remember hanging out with him when he was in Su Suicidal Tendencies, um, Infectious Grooves, seen their show in Chicago. And so, yeah, so much great music on bass. He just, man, and nails it in Metallica, like, Right? I mean, it does a great job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now they're I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say that. No. <laughs> the they're playing They're I playing come in town uh, in August. Are you going to come to the show? Or you're, in August. You're cool. Yeah, I hope to come because I think uh, with Boulevard of Ice, we might play not in Chicago, but um, not too far. I forgot. Uh, and so it, it, uh, it, like it would match quite, uh, very nicely get together. So I'm planning to come in Chicago in August with Metallica. I think they should add your band to the sh both shows. I would love to, so, but that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool though, right? Uh, playing at Soldier, your first time ever, that's never happened anywhere. Playing your first no. time ever at Soldier Field in Chicago, you would be Not breaking record. <laughs> That'd be the record breaker for a band. Band started totally. like, you know, the first time usually you come to Chicago, you start Fireside Bowl or Reggie's, but now you're playing Soldier Field. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I know. We got to talk to Rob. We got to call Robert and see what he can do. <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, also now, you were in Paris, and you did a show in California, too, in Hollywood. And now the Hollywood, yes. the Hollywood California show, was that the Hard Rock Cafe, too, or is that something different? No, I played at the Viper Room. That's right, Viper Room. I, did a, I had that down yes. here. Yes. Uh, yeah, we played at the Whiskey, we played at the Mint, we played the Viper Room. Uh, all that in Hollywood uh, within the past uh, month. So we did a bunch of shows in Hollywood, in L.A. area, too. So it's fun. I really enjoyed the Viper Room. It was really great vibe in there. They say the, the it's haunted. Awesome. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> now, the Viper Room, Johnny Depp owned it one time, but not anymore, I don't think. Right? Not anymore. Not yeah. anymore. He plays guitar. Plays with Dallas yes. Cooper, right? Hollywood Vampires, right? Yeah, that's right. What band would you say, if your band, uh, the band, once again, is called Boulevard of Eyes, is B-L-V-D, not the full Boulevard, Boulevard yeah. of Eyes. Why did you call it Boulevard of Eyes? How'd that come about? That's interesting. Well, it's the title of one of our songs from the second EP that's not released yet. That's about to be released in the next couple months. Uh, but we... Like I said, we were starting at, as Chloe Trujillo Rhythmetic because it was just going to be this one single collab. And then once we started releasing more music and doing shows, we needed to find a band name. And the first, like the first few ideas were already, you know, it's hard to find a band name that's it not is. Really taken. It oh, is. Yeah, it is. It's, it's crazy. So everything was taken. Every idea, oh, there's already a band name that, that oh, you know. And, and uh, both Mark and I came up with Boulevard of Eyes because it's the title of one of our songs. But at the same time, we texted each other and I'm like, oh, you beat me to it. I was just thinking the same. And wow. uh, actually, I think it's it's pretty fitting. And I love eyes. I've seen a lot of eyes. I can see that. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, I have more in front of me, like all over. But um, but I thought, oh, that's cool. It's fitting. And, um, and that's how it became the name of our band. Very cool. Boulevard of Eyes. Check it out. You're on YouTube. We're going to play a song coming up on YouTube. Now, uh, now Robert played on this one here, A Jam Night. Here's a, oh, yeah. a, the ultimate jam night. You got Robert. Is Robert playing there? Yeah. Well, the ultimate jam night, uh, was it the Hand of Doom? Or, yeah, we played with Robert Lula. It says, and uh, and then, uh, March 28th, 23. So about a year, a year and a month, year and two weeks ago. Yes. That was, uh, that's cool. That was, yeah. Awesome. With, and and Caesar from Ministry on on guitar. Oh wow, awesome! So yeah. so all star lineup right there. There's an official video here with uh, you and Rob Medic, and it's a uh, Mana. Now, what songs yes. are you? We can play both songs at the end. We're, we're, we, do, we should do a double dose at the end of the interview. Let's do it. Okay, that's coming up right here. <laughs> we got a couple minutes left. Thank you so much for calling in, and great to meet you. I'm gonna come to the show May fourth. It is at once yeah. again. Sideshow Gallery, it's free, so you have no reason not to go. 2219 Northwestern Avenue in Chicago. Uh, noon to 5 is the uh, pop-up art exhibit, excuse me, what we call it? And then uh, 7 right. to 10. Now, Charlie and Carla, they did like a, an art thing a couple years ago in Chicago and L.A. You know Charlie's man yeah. tracks, right? Yeah. Did you ever see his yeah, art? Yeah, well, well, Charlie lives in Chicago, right? We got, we got, so... to, get him, we got to get him to come by. Actually, actually, you know, his daughter is really good friends with my daughter. And, and part of the reason my daughter wants to go to Chicago is to see uh, uh Oh, cool. Mia. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, I met her before. She's, she's so, super cool. Yeah, we'll tell, Char tell Charlie to come, Carla to come, and bring her daughter. Bring her daughter. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we have a good time coming up on May 4th. Do not miss it in Chicago at the Sideshow Gallery. Do not miss Chloe. And uh, how many paintings do you bring for that? You know, I, I have yet to count. Uh, um, I'm, I'm still deciding. They send me a list of the names of paintings I'd like to have. So I still have to do, I just got back from Paris. I have to do inventory and, and prep all the, the stuff. Awesome. Thank you so much for calling in, Chloe. We'll see you May 4th. What do you want to say to your fans here? Oh, by the way, when I said I was in, oh yeah, I'm interviewing Chloe on uh, Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Oh, I love her. Jean Ambo, everyone loves you. you got a great rep uh, going on. So uh, oh. that's awesome. Everyone I talked to you said they, they love you. You're super sweet. You're super cute. They all said it. It's, uh, it's all over uh, all oh. over my Facebook page, too. Thank you. That's so nice. That's so cool. So all well, positive. Great to hear. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate um, uh, all of you all. And I hope to see a lot of you on May 4th in Chicago at the Sideshow Gallery. And thank you, Rebel Radio. Thank you, Scott Davidson. And uh, yeah. 
One more, to Boulevard of Eyes. One more quick question, though. Um, we only got two minutes for our Zoom. How did you meet Robert? How did you guys meet in the first, in the early days? Oh, you know, uh, uh, I was like, uh, um, my good friend who was like a punk rock guy, uh, and I was in the punk rock world and metal world for, for like very young teenage, like even 12 years old. And, and one of my best friends who I considered as my older brother, because he's like 15 years older than me, was really good friends with the suicidal guys. Cool. And um, so every time they played in Paris, and they played often in Paris, I, we would all hang out. So I was friends with Robert. I was more friends with Rocky George back then. Oh, he's cool, yeah. Like Clark. Wow. Yeah. And, um, and, then, and then it's not until... And then I, I was seeing Robert. Of course, he was part of all, you know, our get together since the 90s, early 90s. Actually, even a friend of mine gave me a picture that he took at one of the parties in, in uh, Paris. Um, and the stamp in the back of the photo, you know, it was like those, those old school, uh, uh, disposable cameras. Yeah. And the, the stamp is like from 96. And, and he has a picture of me and Robert dancing together, all drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'm holding a by beer like this, and I'm headbanging, and he's like this. Cool. And, uh, but it's a great picture from the mid-90s, and who would have thought that we would be husband and wife and have two children uh, many years later. So that's how we, and then it's not until I moved to LA that he connected with me, and, and cool. things just happened, you know? Awesome. Congrats. I'm going to have you be the DJ. You want to play your official video first or do you want to play? I'm going to do a double dose or the song with Robert playing. Which one should we play first? Uh, let's play my song for like the video, the video first okay, and, awesome. then, and then, and then you'll do the Yeah, I'll do jam that. Night. I'll do that first. I want you to be the DJ and announce the, uh, the second song is coming to the jam night with Robert. We'll play that. But as I, before I let you go, I want you to be the DJ on Rebel Radio. You're a DJ and introduce this song here, the, uh, the official music video. Okay. Take it away. Are we, are we playing Mana? Yes. No, yes. All right. So here we go. This is now Mana from uh, Boulevard of Eyes. It's probably uh, on uh, YouTube still under Chloe Trujillo Rev Medic. Yes. The, our old name. But take a listen to Mana now. Right here on Rebel Radio. Thanks a lot, Chloe. Thank we'll, you. We'll see you May 4th. Yes. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Say hi to Robert and the kids. I will. I will. Bye-bye. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank we'll, you. We'll say May 4th. And let me know if, if you could uh, if you could put the band together, we'll find you a venue. A venue. No problem. No pro That'd be no problem. I, I get you drums, amps, everything. Okay, cool. Cool. That'd see you later. awesome. Okay, bye. Bye. We're still on Facebook Live here. Here's a video of Chloe Trujillo. Let's get it make it a little bigger for you. Here we go. Chloe on vocals here. They've now changed the band name. The Boulevard of Eyes.
Rebel Radio. I'm Scott Davidson. Thanks for watching the video with Chloe Trujillo. Here's her band right here. They are now called Boulevard of Eyes. Should be in town May 4th. Free art exhibit at the Side Show Gallery, 2219 Northwestern Avenue in Chicago. Scott Davidson around Facebook Live or listening to Zoe, Chloe, the singer from this band here, Chloe Chuhio. The band's called Boulevard of Eyes. This is her official video. It's on YouTube. Check it out. To hear the double dose, go to rebelradio.com, AM 1500 or FM 92.5. Have a great day. Later.